getting all fired up. Think it's time we go and get them lights up. Let them high school lights ignite us. Your town, your team, your school. Live from Channel 3. This is Friday Night Football. Sponsored by Yukon Health, Sports Medicine, and Orthopedics. Hello there, and welcome to Friday Night Football. Here we are once again on Channel 3. So glad you're with us tonight. I'm Mark Robbins. And I'm Joe Zona. We have highlights from around the state. We'll also check in on first night at UConn, but we begin with our big game on three. You picked the game, Ellington traveling to take on Valley Regional Old Line. Both teams looking for their first win of the season. Ellington's into the end zone first. Take a look at the effort from the running back. Cooper Cocky gets the handoff up the middle, barrels over defender, and he's in for six. Touchdown, Ellington. They have the lead. Does it again. This time uses blockers up the middle, all the way. Touchdown. Knights beginning to build on that lead. Then they go to the air a little later on. Quarterback Aaron Ladder. The pass finds Tristan Neville in the end zone for the touchdown. Ellington looks good early. Valley Regional Old Lime pulls closer in the second half. Alex Linda handoff. He's in. That's a touchdown. Valley's closer, but not close enough. Ellington picks up the win on the road. 27 20. All right. Good game there. How about uh, in New Haven? Here come the academics. The Hill House. Big one for them at Bowen Field. Hill House hosting Lyman Hall and the visiting Trojans will show off their freshman quarterback Ryan Casey the middle screen from the lefty to Gavin Janowski uh oh look at the big gain early in the second quarter and this sweet pass play sets up Casey on the keeper for the touchdown it was the only score wow. for Lyman Hall in this game Hill House with some speed and toughness on defense. And the academics use that to turn things into a victory. Hillhouse wins it over Lyman Hall, 26 to seven, Joe. Brookfield on the road against Notre Dame of Fairfield. It was the CIAC game of the week, seen live on our sister station, The Wax. The Lancers with a big lead in the first half. Quarterback Bryson Razor airs it out and connect with Joey DeJesus, that's a touchdown. Notre Dame Fairfield in front early. They add to the lead right here. Same connection. Razor rolls out. The Jesus end zone touchdown. Lancers increase their lead. Then they do it on the ground. Antoine Davis up the middle. You're not going to stop him. Touchdown Lancers. They lead 28-6 at the break. Brookfield would stage a rally in the second half. Highlighted by this play. Michael Walters on the handoff. Outside. He's gone. That's a 79-yarder for the Bobcats. They make an interesting late, but it's Brookfield. Nope, Notre Dame Fairfield wins it 28-20. They are 5-0. and oh. Our FNF Band of the Week comes from Jonathan Wall High School. You can nominate your school. Send us a message to Sports 3 at WFSB.com. You know, we can't get enough of that band. They march on and they march off. In Milford is the Lawman. We're hosting an ever-improving bunch of Tigers from Daniel Hand, the third quarter hand defense. Trying to get that shot out. Carlos Santos with a big play on fourth and short against Law. And on offense for Daniel Hand, Jack Shea having a big day throwing the ball and check out Owen Prescott. Oh no, he didn't. Oh, that was quite the spectacular grab. He had a couple of them in that drive to set up Shea on the sneak. Daniel Hand would get the shutout. How about the Tigers? They win again. 30 zip is your final. All right, we got more highlights to talk about here on FNF. And with that, Joe. Yeah, we're going to turn it over to Channel 3's Uncle Sonia, who had a front row seat for a couple of those games tonight. Uncle. Well, fellas, you got to have the weather playing tricks on us to start the year, which means there were two sets of Falcons that had games to make up. Avon had to continue its showdown with Ram, while uh, St. Paul Catholic welcomed Derby after Lightning completely wiped out their season opener. But we'll start in Avon, where the Falcons trail 27-8 in the third. That's where this game resumed from, and this didn't help. Backed up on their own six. They fumbled a snap. Joe Fay, he comes up with it. The Raptors had to settle for a field goal, but they led it 30-8. to Avon again trying to chip into the deficit, this time with the pass game. But Luke Altieri, 
tipped it to himself. Actually, he caught it. It was tipped out, and he managed to recover it, getting the interception. Graham wasn't able to score, so the Falcons with another chance to chip into the deficit. Direct snap to John Murphy up the middle would get them a fresh set of downs, and the march would continue for Avon. So if it works once, do it again. Again up the middle for a gain of at least 15. On fourth and goal late in the fourth quarter, the handoff would go to guess who? John Murphy. He runs it in for the touchdown and the two point conversion to boot, only making it cosmetic. Ram wins 30 to 16. The Raptors now 3 and 2. Avon on a four game skid. They're now 1 and 4. In Bristol, St. Paul hosting Derby for just a moment of silence, paying respect for the Bristol police officers murdered around this time last year. But once that opening kickoff came out, it was all fireworks. Jay Zare Barbera unleashing the pass to Jalen Titus, who makes a great grab and does the rest. 61 yards to the house, 6 0 Derby. The two point try was no good. Ensuing drive, the Falcons would answer. Jason Matthews takes the pitch, dances to the outside, sheds a few tackles, and he is in 36 yard touchdown run the two point conversion was good 8-6 St. Paul it took Derby literally one play to respond and that's because Dan Taylor broke through the middle found a seam to the far sideline and there he goes 60 yards to the end zone 14-6 Derby because their two point conversion was good but St. Paul said I, I don't think so Red Raiders because it's Matthews at it again I bought the fake in the backfield and so did Derby's defense because there he goes 30 yards to the house he had three rushing touchdowns on the day that tied us up at 14 all but the night belonged to Derby and big plays like this were wide check this out Barbera rolling out to his left firing over the middle what a grab by Titus you see why he likes going to him 26 yards a fresh set of downs on the very next play Dan Taylor for pay dirt it was 22 all in the second quarter but Derby scored 34 points unanswered to take this one 56 to 22 Falcons now one and four Derby is now two and three